So I'm working on the Goddess Pele right now, and I'm using the Jane Davenport Power Pastel Smudging Crayons, the ones that I didn't care for. But I actually really like them, like using them in a melting kind of medium. I got this new soldering iron Walnut Hollow. I got it from Michaels. I used a coupon so it was $15 and it has this um, adjustable temperature and I have it up kind of high because I kind of want to burn it, the canvas a little. So we'll see how it works out. But I really like, see, because you can see where I like drew in the crayon lines, the preschool crayon lines. And now I'm just taking it and I like, I really like how this is starting to look. But one of the things that I'm going to do after, I think, is take some of the, um, some of my effects oils that I have. And I don't remember exactly what they're called. I'll show, probably show them later if I do another video on this one. Um, of, and they do like these really cool like metallic spot effects and I might go over her hair for some of that for some of the like the lava look but I didn't really want this to be like a nice painting like I want it to be beautiful but it's not not delicate not I wanted her to be fierce like she's supposed to be after all, she's a goddess that, whose spirit lives in the volcano, so she lives with fire and she is fire. There's nothing delicate about fire. But see, if you watch, I'm just kind of drawing these lines and it's pushing, it's melting and it's pushing the wax and it kind of gives this really cool effect here. But if you have shaky hands like me, then you better have that coffee beforehand to stop it. <laughs> but, so you can see here, and like you can see that it's burning and like some of the wax is burning off. And um, I really recommend trying to clean off your tip when you're done um, by rubbing it against something. Like I have a piece of wood I rub it against. Don't use like fabric or anything do something stupid like that because you're gonna burn a hole in the fabric and burn a hole in your hand um, and once again I am NOT responsible for anything stupid that you do because you're following my stupidity because setting fire to things and burning things isn't exactly the best method but you know I think it looks really neat it was really funny, I was like thinking when I first got the Power Pastels that I was never ever going to buy them again because they sucked so hard and now I'm thinking that I'm going to have to keep buying them as I run out of them because I really love what they do here. And I know this is a really um, <laughs> unique method of using them. Um, I have some Neo Color Pastels too. And I was thinking about trying out those and seeing how they melted, but I wasn't going to do it on something where I already had like hours invested into the face and things like that, you know. I'm only willing to uh, <laughs> test my luck so far. But see how great this is looking? Like, look at that. It just says lava and fire. It says awesome. It's kind of satisfying just to like watch it melt too. I'm gonna have to fill in these spaces and I'm kind of wondering if I should just wait and fill in the spaces with um, this needs more. The If I should wait and fill in the spaces with the oil paints that I was talking about or if I should like add more of the wax and then do it over it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll probably figure it out later. I don't really... I don't know how other artists work. Um, I mean, I've taken art classes in college and stuff, but like, I don't actively plan out what I'm doing unless it's a commission or something. Like, I had a, somebody commission once a, a dark, whimsical pigeon, and that was a lot of fun. 
and that one I had to think about for like three or four days before I could do it because I had to plan it out but when it comes to like the ladies that I do I don't really plan it out I just kind of like throw it down and see what happens um, so things get a little bit more interesting and um, things get tossed a lot more <laughs> because sometimes things end up awful, which I like really try not to do. But I really like, I don't know. I like how unpredictable it can be and how, like, how unpredictable my brain can be with these. And then I'm like, oh my God, there she goes. Psycho artist rambling again about the crazy things in her brain. But I guess it comes with the territory. And I think it's okay to be a little bit weird. Everybody's got their weird thing, you know? And anybody who says that they don't is a liar. You know that there's somebody out there that's like collects plastic lemons and bowls and thinks they're perfectly normal, but they have these lemons and bowls all over their house or something. I've never seen that. I don't know anybody that does that. I'm just saying I bet there's somebody out there that does that. So. I am really, really, really liking the way this is turning out. And I'm trying to like give you guys a little bit more context in these videos <laughs> other than, oh, look at what I'm doing. I'm burning things up again. But like, I don't really know. I don't really know like what to say other than I guess my crazy can be entertainment for you guys. A lot of the stuff that I paint comes from dreams that I've had. Um, I have a lot of nightmares, which inspires some of these things that I do. And um, it's a good way to, it's a good exercise to like help express what I'm seeing and then it takes those nightmares and makes them not quite so scary. I don't think adults talk enough about having nightmares and things like that because that seems like it's like a child's thing but it does happen and I think that it should be acknowledged more and it should be okay. It shouldn't be like a secret or like one of those things where oh I had this dream that scared the crap out of me but I should be too much of an adult to like be worried or bothered by it. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? You know. So I guess that's my little rant on nightmares in adulthood because I don't think anybody like I think the, the difference between childhood and adulthood besides maturity is maybe losing a little bit of your imagination and your wonder and I don't think anybody should ever lose that. I don't think that otherwise I think adulthood and childhood are just kind of the same trying to get by and it's the maturity and you know our the lessons we've learned through life that make us the adults. And I think that we should all hang on to our imagination. Like, I listen to my kids talk about some of the things that they think and they come up with. And it's like, wow, if I had the imagination that I had when I was their age to go with my paintings now, and I think I've said this before too, I would be unstoppable. So don't ever let that go. But I think that that's uh, enough rambling for me tonight.